if you were to tell the parents in the district um, maybe the number one thing that they can do to support their kids and make sure that their children get the best education possible, what is one thing that maybe some parents don't realize the value of that they can be doing at home to support the district and support their education? I think uh, to really emphasize to students that the most important thing is uh, learning and being successful in school. I mean, so many times you get pulled into uh, extracurricular activities like, uh, you know, team sports or other things, and sometimes uh, there's a miscommunication there from parents that they somehow, kids feel like, the students feel like, you know, that's more important to their parents than school. And I just think it's really important that, that it's clearly communicated to the to the children that uh, learning is the most important thing. You know, development of, of the child is the most important thing. Uh, also, it's really important that we instill in in children confidence to do things. Uh, you know, uh, whenever you you work with your child, you just need to do everything you can to help build their confidence, help them understand that they're capable if they put their mind to it. Also, hard work is essential for anything. Uh, if you're going to be successful, you've got to learn to really uh, set your mind to something uh, and see it to the end. And uh, you know, it's really important not to give up, to continue to work hard, because uh, anything that, that is good in life, it usually comes through hard work and sweat, and, you know, blood, sweat, and tears. I mean, it's just the way life is, and uh, it's something that uh, you need to teach children. I think. And how does how does it, a, a generation of at least administrators, if not teachers and educators, that that grew up on on say the the BGs and Three Dog Night, how do you keep it real and keep kids interested in a world where they're listening to Nelly and Pink? How do you stay in touch with those kids and keep it fresh and interesting for them? You know, when you interact with with uh, students and uh, and visit with them. You can visit with a student in, in Haiti, or you can visit with a student in Kosovo, you can visit with a student in Germany, or a student here in the United States. We're all human beings. We all have uh, basic needs, and uh, those have not changed. Uh, yeah, interests have changed, and, and you've got to tap into the interests of students, but uh, the bottom line is that the basic needs really haven't changed from what they were when we were children. The anxieties that children feel today are the same anxieties that we felt as children. Uh, some of it may be heightened more through uh, uh, cyberbullying and, and other things that we did not have to deal with when we were children. There's some things that have been thrown at uh, the youth today that, that we're not having to deal with. We didn't have to deal with when we were kids. But overall, though, the uh, hopes and dreams and aspirations of kids are not different from what they were when we were there. I think um, one of the other things that sometimes parents um, that haven't been in a school very much, because we're, we're not teachers, so we don't really know what goes on sometimes in the day-to-day -day op operations, is the technology that's needed to run a school with kids who grew up with all of this technology. Um, is it a challenge sometimes getting parents to understand the, the need for the technology that the kids have today when they may have grown up with, with a blackboard and you know, maybe one of those TVs that they wheeled in on the cart? You know, uh, I, I'm not sure. Uh, we haven't really dealt with much resistance there. I mean, usually when, when we talk about implementing technology, uh, it's welcomed because I think people have a clear understanding that it's an essential part of, of the ongoing operation today. You know, uh, the Internet and, and uh, the, you know, the cellular phone have uh, transformed our culture. I mean, when you think about it, uh, what you have on an iPhone right now is uh, more memory than what you had on your desktop computer uh, 20 years ago. And uh, the fact that uh, information is so readily available now that it used to be, uh, we, I think people understand that students need to learn how to access information. The students need to learn how to uh, be able to control technology to be a useful tool for them. And um, 
I, I feel like I don't really feel much uh, lack of support there from parents. I think most parents are understanding. Mm -hmm. There's always this fear, and, and it's a fear I have too, and it's something we try to control is, you know, we don't want students to uh, be victims of cyberbullying. We don't want uh, students to be victims of uh, the, the negative uh, sites that are out there and so you know we're going to filter things uh, we're going to make sure that we filter uh, uh, information whenever it's here in our school system but um, you know but we still have got to free up uh, our students to be able to use the technology that they have and one thing i'm excited about is we're implementing uh, a pilot program at our high schools uh, we started it here in february uh, bring your own technology and we're going to allow students to bring their own devices to school and they can log in to our system. Uh, it will be filtered through our system, but it will also give them an opportunity to log in to our system at home. And, uh, you know, it's, it's sort of like uh, cloud computing that, that you can get now through uh, Google, but it's uh, our cloud is basically our district operating system. And so uh, it provides opportunities for students to be able to do uh, schoolwork and, and use word processing uh, uh, through the school district. And uh, so that's a real uh, exciting possibility, in my opinion. Uh, and, you know, I haven't, we haven't had, um, so far, anyway, negative feedback about that. I mean, I think people understand that it's something that is, is what we need to do. Um, but, um, but there's always going to be some people that are going to be happy with what we, we try to implement. That's just part of the game, you know. Okay, well, thank you very much for visiting with us today and kind of giving us the update. Sure. Thank you. Thanks. Appreciate it.